Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Open Source Tonight. Folks, today I want to talk about the AV1 video codec, and more specifically, how you can encode it on CPU a lot faster. Let's get into it. So we can encode the AV1 codec faster by using this library of FFmpeg. It's not the default, but it's the one we're going to use today. So if I come over to FFmpeg, dash I, and I'm going to specify the Vince Bro short film, which is the internal name for a short film I did about uh, a brother being cloned and all this. I'm going to say dash C colon V, and I'm going to put in this right here and paste that. Now for audio codec, we need to put something that will work in whatever codec container, video and audio container that we're using. In my case, the container we're going to use is the WebM codec, and therefore I'm going to need, therefore I'm going to need, okay, to put it in a WebM container. We need something that works with WebM. So live opus will work. So we're going to use that, and we're going to use AV1 for the video. Now, for the actual quality setting, you can set bit rates and stuff, but for our purposes, I'm just going to set a quality, uh, what is it, quality rate control factor or something like that, this thing down here, it's CFR. We're going to just set a number in here, and I'm going to just set 28. That looks pretty good in my experience, numbers in that general range for HD video. I'm going to hit, oh, that's right, I forgot. Opus only supports two-channel audio, and I already recorded this video once. And had technical release, and have to do it again. And I forgot that quick. It's been like 30 minutes. And anyway, dash AC2 in FFmpeg, for those that do not know, will take the 5.1, 7.1, etc. surround mix that you can have in a, a film. But for example, in my case, I have 5.1, and it will down convert it to, stand, to two channel. Now, there's actually a second stream in this file for just two channel sound, a separate actual down mix. But of course, FFmpeg doesn't notice that. Now, there is a way, if I remember, to actually make it use that uh, audio stream, but I'm just going to down convert for this video because it's just a demo. And here we go. It's going to say, oh, you've already tried to write that because we had an error. So I'm just going to say, why for yes, Nate, enter. And you can see it is encoding fast. If we look over here at our uh, CPU utilization, you can see that it's getting up there. It's using a lot of CPU, but it won't take long. As you can see here, we're doing nine times encode and that's it we're done and you can see cpu utilization is basically back to where it started basically barely even anything this is on a ryzen 3700x so it's a decently powerful processor AV1 is an open source video codec it's very similar to vp9 for example AV1 I think is going to be the future of video on the web and maybe even other places too. It's a really great video codec. The biggest problem it's had for a long time is that it's slow to encode and we only have relatively recently started to find GPUs that will accelerate it from NVIDIA, Intel, etc. So if you have one of those GPUs, obviously you can use the hardware acceleration. What I'm showing you in the video that you just watched the rest of, uh, this SVT AV1 was developed by Netflix and Intel working together several years ago, and it was designed to accelerate the CPU encoding process to optimize it. And on a Ryzen 3700X processor, which is the one I have in my desktop PC running Rocky Linux version 9, I have found that it can, again, encode 4K and HD pretty fast, a lot faster than if I use the default reference library that FFmpeg would default to if I ask it to just encode AV1 with that. So the moral of the story, folks, I think AV1 is the future. Am I wrong? We'll find out. Netflix is already working on using it. YouTube already uses it. A bunch of companies are backing it. Apple, all these different companies are investors in the, the entity that created AV1. It's an open source royalty-free codec, which means you can use it for basically any purpose you want. You don't have to worry about paying royalties. You don't have to worry asking for permission, any of that. So folks, I don't know about you, but I think AV1 is pretty cool. So if you want to encode it for some reason, you can do it with FFmpeg. Tune in to my next video where I'm going to be doing a video about Handbrake, and you can actually use this in Handbrake too. So if you want a user interface that's not a command line, because I know you people are out there, don't worry, I got a GUI coming up for you. All right, everybody, thanks for watching Open Source tonight, and I'll see y'all again very soon. Goodbye, everybody. And action.